I am Father Vibert Stevens and I am speaking to you from the Roman Catholic Diocese of Bridgetown here at St. Patrick's Cathedral. I am continuing my series and I am addressing in particularly for the talks coming up, the family. Today I want to read to you from the Word of God. There are two books in the Old Testament that are familiar. There are the book of Ecclesiasticus and the book of Ecclesiastes. They are not the same. So I am reading to you from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. And it says, For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heavens. There was a Greek philosopher called Heraclitus, and Heraclitus said, Everything in it is in a state of flux. You cannot step in the same river in the same way. So he is speaking about things are not always the same, that things do change, that there are changes in every way. These changes are changes that people have to deal with. with. I, am want, I want to share with you what we call normal and the new normal. The normal refer to things that we have on schedule, things that are familiar. So we get up, get ready for work, sign in at work, do our work, sign out, and maybe head for the supermarket and home. And we do what we are accustomed to do. We get up on a Sunday morning, get ready for church, meet people, greet them, say hello, and so on. We shake hands, we, sh we, we exchange pleasantries. We go home and we do our normal things. We go out for sports, we do as our schedule gives us. Today we have what we call the new normal. And the new normal is what we have to live with. The coronavirus has forced us to be at home, forced us not to socialize, forced us to queue up in lines for food at the supermarket. Cue us to, fo um, so to go to the pharmacies. Everything we have to do is now change rather than doing it in the way that we are accustomed doing. This is what life is. There are always things happening in our society that things change and therefore we have to live with the unfamiliar. And the unfamiliar is like being at home restricted with ourselves or with our children or with the elderly. This is not something that is new for many of us. This is not something that we are accustomed to and it is very difficult to deal with. But it is something each of us has to deal with. It is a new challenge. It is a challenge that we have to face. It is the new um, norm, or the new normal, as it is called. We must remember that nothing is always the same. This means that it is a time when God wants us perhaps to change certain old ways and to embrace new ways in our lives to embrace our families anew, to embrace our children anew, to embrace the elderly anew, to see each of them in a different light and in a different way. I know at home there will be various challenges and I will address some of them in the coming days. But I ask you to hold stead, embrace the change, for there will be a change too when you will be out again. Trust in God and hold on to him. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, look upon your people as they bend themselves and humble themselves to the changes that are taking place. Give them the grace and the strength that they need to face the difficulty of every day, especially now with this new normal, this new change in their lives. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen.